The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying. You better loosen your belts. Drinking hot wine by the fire. I don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. And welcome to another episode of 25 Days of Christmas, an Advent podcast where we watch a Christmas movie or special every day until December 25th. I'm Patricia, and I'm here with my sister, Carlene. Hello, everyone. So today we're going to be taking a look into a movie that was requested by Alexandria Oasio Cortez. So yeah, apparently the United States representative of New York listens to our podcast. <laughs> or so- you're a big fan. Yeah, I guess you're apparently they're a big fan. So thank you so much, AOC. So today they want us to talk about the 1988 action film Die Hard. So we should preface and disclaimer two things. Number one, we've seen your request over and over. So thank you for your persistence. That's probably the only reason we decided (laughs) to choose this movie. And number two, I think it probably goes without say that although we welcome your guys' request, and also recommendations. It doesn't always guarantee that we're going to agree with your scoring or ratings or likability. So this is our personal take. So hopefully people understand that and there's no one who's offended or bothered. This is just our personal opinion on any other request or recommendations provided. Yeah, so uh, let's get to this show. And also too, like, Merry Christmas. We you know, we finally leaned into your request. Yes, Merry you asked, we deliver. Yes, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and all that good stuff. <laughs> all right, so let's get to the plot. So, it focuses on NYPD cop John McClane who's going to Los Angeles to patch things up with his estranged wife Holly. He goes over to the Nakatomi Plaza where they're having a Christmas party at the 30th floor. But oh no, terrorist attack led by Hans Gruber, played by Alan Rickman. So this is the second movie that we've seen Alan Rickman in. The last one we saw was Love Actually. Actually. And so it's up to John McClane to save the hostages and go through all of these elaborate tasks so that he can be able to rescue everyone. He does everything from calling via walkie-talkie to get the police over, um, steals over the detonators, blows everything up, kills off all of the other, um, you know, terrorists, and eventually goes over to Hans Gruber where he tries to attack him. But boy, does he suffer in this movie, especially since he has no shoes on. He has only a sleeveless shirt and just barely enough wit so that he can be able to sneak around and go through some very tight situations. And This is done in Christmas, so Merry Christmas, everyone! Bloodshed all around! Okay, so, what do we think of this movie? Okay, so let me jump in by saying I'm really open to a lot of different genres. Like, there's only some things that I'm not going to watch. Okay. And that's like, I'm not interested in anything demonic or exorcist. Thank you. I prefer to live a demonless life. Okay. Not interested. Okay. And like some of that old like horror stuff, like Freddy Krueger and like Jason, like oh, I'm just not about it. Yeah, but those are horror. This is action. Horror. Like I'm not into horror, and I'm not into like like the occult stuff. Most other things I like. I love comedy. I love action. I love romance. I love animation movies. So an action movie, I'm down for. This is like an action movie, like. It's a pretty good movie. Mm -hmm. And the concept is, you know, it's on par for a lot of action movies. I mean, people call this like one of the greatest action movies of all time. I don't know about that. I wouldn't go that far. Okay. But it's still an enjoyable movie. I like Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. I like the plot of the story. I like a lot of elements to the movie. You know what I mean? I, I like that, you know, he's the only one up against, like, it feels like a small army of terrorists. 
and who is he gonna save the day um i like that he's like is he here is he there he's bouncing around i like that he has like some tricks up his sleeve to yeah. outwit them and you know um i like that there's that secret element where his wife is there and these terrorists don't know it's the wife is are they gonna find out is it not so there's a little bit of intrigue there's a little bit of mystery there's some interesting characters it's an action movie people shooting around and you know that's fine I'm, I'm i'm down for that yeah and i like the fact that the year came out for it still pretty still holds up not too bad and obviously it's done well enough that they've made a few of these i think they've made five sequels yeah okay so they've made a few of them so so yeah there's some things it's definitely an, it's not a bad movie it's not a bad action movie now is it a christmas movie this has been the biggest debate ever if you ask me no what defines a christmas movie is the question of all questions it's hard to say because there are a lot of movies that take place around christmas right as we said before die hard gremlins iron man 3 batman returns and none of those movies i would consider a christmas movie it's like saying, like, uh, uh, the movie took, it was released on President's Day. I guess this is a patriotic movie. Like, it, just because it's, it's even if it has a, some Christmas themes, like there's some Christmas music, obviously it's a, a holiday party, so there's Christmas trees and some Christmas themes, but that's not what constitutes a Christmas movie. You know what I mean? Like, I can dress up, like I was telling Patty, I can dress up a pig and put lipstick on it and call it a beauty queen, but it doesn't make it a beauty queen, you know what I mean? Like, the elements of this movie, just because there's Christmas themes, doesn't make it a Christmas movie for me. This makes it an action movie that happen so happens to be happening during Christmas. Like, yes. that's just, to me personally, it's like a, a tiny detail or subplot to a much bigger movie, and like, People are trying to, no, like, no, no, no. Watch the movie all year round. Watch it whenever you want. Enjoy it whenever you want. And if you want to make it part of your Christmas holiday stuff, go for it. But, like, to me, Christmas movie not only has to have the themes of Christmas, but it has to have the feeling of Christmas. Yeah, like, the season of giving, the season of love and joy. Exactly. And it has to put you in that spirit, in that mood, it has to have like that that coming together and like it just has to have more than just a Christmas tree in the background. Yeah, exactly. It's about giving, not stealing. It's about toys, not trying to steal six hundred million dollars worth of bonds. It's about Santa and Jesus, not about shooting people and you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I can appreciate like the movie and i enjoyed it yeah let, let's talk about it on its own yeah on its own I mean, that's what i literally think this movie needs to do like it just needs to stand on its own and just not be affiliated with christmas yeah like i would never recommend this as a christmas movie and i would not you know enjoy it during the christmas time it doesn't put you in the christmas spirit like to me it's, it's a movie that should stand and live outside of that it should be part of your action collection so whenever you're feeling like you want to watch an action movie that has terrorists and some shooting around, this is a movie you can enjoy. Yeah, only the first two diehards take place around Christmas, while the other ones don't. I guess if you want to be able to have the Christmas atmosphere, but with guns, then this will probably be one to check out. But if you're more of a purist who likes to see snow and gifts and Santa and, and, elves. and elves or Jesus and sand... Yeah then this is probably not the movie for you. Yeah, no, for, definitely not. But at the same time, there were some really good moments in there. Yeah. I really enjoyed John McClane as he was just trying to convince the cops that he's trying to stop these terrorists. There's a lot of, like, really awful characters. Like, yeah. you know, there's the deputy, there's the news reporter. Yeah. Uh, just, like, these... The FBI agents were horrible, too. Yeah, Johnson and Johnson. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of people who are basically making things worse for McLean. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the only good thing about it was the police officer, who's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people, including myself, think of him as Carl Winslow from The Family Matters, because that's who he is. It's Carl Winslow from mm -hmm. Family Matters. But I know this, he, he did this before Family Matters, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, his backstory about how he's trying to redeem himself after he accidentally killed a kid was actually really nice, especially he was the one who killed Carl, and Carl has this vendetta against John because he killed his brother. Mm -hmm. um, and then 
You have Hans who wants to steal $640 million over at the Nakatomi Plaza so that he can be able to have the opportunity to steal it. And then he even uh, tries to throw them off with a fake request to free all these prisoners who were locked up in jail. So, yeah, Hans was, like, really clever. Yeah, and I think that, like, some pieces to the movie were a little bit underdeveloped. But I I think it took place in, in the 1980s, so... You know, it's fine. There's another movie that kind of reminds me of, like, a teeny bit. Like, I think it's called The Den of Thieves or something like that, where they have you believing that it's one way, and then later down the road that they switch it up, and you're like, wow, that was awesome. Okay. So, like, in this situation, kind of like that intrigue, like, he's requesting all of these things as a way to distract from his real intention, but in the same breath, like, all of a sudden... They're like, we're, how are we going to be able to do that? And then they're like, oh, we did it. Like, I don't know. I just- okay, well, that's fair. I mean, my favorite part from Hans trying to fool people was when finally John was able to confront him. And so he pretends to be one of the workers yeah, at yeah, the yeah. Nakatomi Plaza yeah, by giving this too. fake accent. But John immediately knew when he was giving Hans the gun. And then he was like trying to shoot him. And then the bullets ended up being blanks. Mm-hmm. That was really clever. I like that. Yeah, me too. I, I like that part too, because for a moment I, I thought before he fired the gun and he's handing over this gun, I'm like, oh no, like he managed to trick him. And I guess something along the lines helped him to realize that this was like the leader of the group. But yeah, I thought that that part of intrigue was, was good too. Yeah. So there's some elements to this movie that are definitely interesting and enjoyable, um, but I still stand by my belief that this is not christmas movie okay and and so once we get to the ratings because of that yeah now here's the thing when we rate the movies and specials we've been talking about all through this month we're rating them as christmas movies so our score for christmas movies and specials is definitely going to be a huge part in our rating of die hard yeah so let's do this in terms of watchability (laughs) <laughs> yeah it's not a movie i'm gonna be watching me neither often. no I, i'm not gonna watch this very often no, either there's a lot of I, like again like i mentioned i like action movies um suspense all of that stuff so there's plenty of movies that i have that i have on my list that i enjoy more than yeah. I, would, I would see long before i get to die hard mm-hmm. the only way i'm watching die hard again is if someone wants to watch it and I'm like fine or if it's playing in the background like it's yeah. not something i'm gonna go and watch yeah so watchability i'm not gonna say once and never again because it's not bad but it's not something i'm watching every few years either Mm, yeah i'll probably like maybe watch it once every blue moon once in a blue moon i'm with you on that yeah all right let's rate it i can't rate it out of santa's because santa does not exist for me (laughs) in this movie the only santa that exists in this movie was the dead terrorist and exactly with the ho 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 sweater no that is literally the only santa in this movie yeah like if i'm gonna rate this as an action movie i might give it an actual rating score but as a christmas movie that has christmas like makes you feel christmassy and let's watch this and to me, it's a zero. zero <laughs> like, zero Santa's out of five. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Like, if, if we're rating it on something else, yeah, then, like, of course, I would give it another rating. Yeah, if we were to rate it as an action movie, yes, we would rate it a lot higher than a zero. Of course. As for me, okay, I rated Scrooge as a one because it was just, like, not as creative as all the other Christmas Carol adaptations, so I'm not going to give it that. But, like I said, as a Christmas movie, I'll probably maybe give it, like, a 1.5. You would give it more than a Scrooge? As a Christmas movie? Okay, okay, fine. Maybe, like, a 0.5. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Because of the... Because it's, like, not feeling the Christmas spirit. Like, it's not a Christmas movie. Okay, 0.5. You you talk me into it. (laughs) As a Christmas movie. As a Christmas movie. But as an action movie, it's a lot higher. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that is it with our discussion of Die Hard. Once again, thank you so much to Alexandria Cortez, the New York representative, for giving us this suggestion. Leave a comment down below about what your thoughts are of Die Hard. And sorry if we broke your heart with the YouTube. <laughs> but uh, we, gotta, we gotta speak truth and we can enjoy this movie and maybe 
Maybe we like a lot of the same things, but as a Christmas movie, not for us. Yeah, but actually, let us know. Do you consider Die Hard a Christmas movie? Please, let us know. We are genuinely curious. All right. um, That seems to be all we have to say about Die Hard. (laughs) Yes. All right, so again, uh, if you liked our discussion of Die Hard, share it with your friends, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tune in next time as we talk about another Christmas movie or special. I'm sorry it's not going to be one that is just a movie with a Christmas setting. It's going to be a true Christmas movie. So until then, see you later. Bye, guys. Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place up high above There's a song of love Travel Hey